Hello, and welcome to this presentation on Oracle Advanced Security in Oracle Database 12C. My name is Todd Botker, and I'm the Product Manager for Oracle Advanced Security. This is the first in a series of short video recordings for anyone who's looking to learn more about Oracle Advanced Security and quickly get up to speed on what's new in the current release. To introduce this topic, let's talk a bit about Oracle's Database Security Defense In-Depth Strategy. It consists of three main pillars, preventive controls, detective controls, and administrative controls. This strategy provides strong controls for Oracle databases, and in specific areas, it extends to non-Oracle databases and to other related use cases. Oracle Advanced Security is in the preventive area, providing core data at rest encryption and on-the-fly redaction features to help protect the Oracle database. Oracle Advanced Security is complementary to all of the security controls shown here, and it can be deployed in tandem with other Oracle Database Security solutions. In Oracle Database 12C Enterprise Edition, the Oracle Advanced Security option consists of two main components. The first is Transparent Data Encryption, or TDE, which transparently encrypts data at rest in the Oracle Database for improved security and compliance. The second component, Data Redaction, is brand new in Oracle Database 12C. Data Redaction selectively redacts, or rubs out, sensitive data displayed by applications just before it leaves the database in SQL query results. For those of you who are familiar with Oracle Advanced Security, you will notice an important change in this product packaging. Prior to the launch of Oracle Database 12C, Oracle Advanced Security also included certain network encryption and strong authentication components. As of the 12C release, all database network encryption and strong authentication features become part of the core Oracle database for both Enterprise Edition and Standard Edition. In other words, network encryption and strong authentication now are replaced with data redaction in the Oracle Advanced Security License. This is a quick look at transparent data encryption. TDE encrypts individual columns in the database or entire application table spaces. It protects the data where it is stored, whether in files, on disk, or in backups, effectively putting a stop to attacks that attempt to bypass the database, go directly at the stored data, and pick sensitive information out of the database files. TDE takes these types of attacks off of the table by encrypting the data within storage, thus forcing would-be attackers to go through the front door into the database where they'll be subject to strong security controls. In addition, TDE provides built-in key lifecycle management with assisted encryption key rotation. It supports Oracle engineered systems, including Oracle Exadata, and it is compatible with applications by default. We've listed a couple of applications on the slide, but it's important to note that because TDE does not alter the inbound SQL statements or the outbound SQL query results in any way, it is compatible with applications by default and it does not require any application code or configuration changes. So that's a brief overview of what is included with TDE. Note that we'll be covering this in more detail in a subsequent recording where we will step through an interactive TDE demonstration. Here we see a quick summary of data redaction. This feature gives you the ability to redact sensitive column data at the last minute before it leaves the database in the form of SQL query results bound for display by applications. It is an easy way to reduce the exposure of sensitive data in legacy, current, and new applications without having to make a lot of modifications to them. You can selectively redact based on runtime context information that is maintained by the database or passed into the database by the apps. The exact redaction behavior is determined by declarative policies managed centrally inside of the database. Data redaction is highly transparent to applications because it preserves the data type and optionally the data formatting. We believe that this will be a very useful feature for a wide range of use cases, including call centers and other systems that work with PCI, PHI, PII, and other sensitive or regulated data. We will go into more detail on data redaction in a subsequent recording where we'll step through an interactive redaction demo. Here you can see data redaction and TDE working together to protect data. TDE encrypts the data in database storage on the back end, while data redaction protects the front end SQL query results. 
These two features are a good match for one another, and we anticipate they will be used together often. Both of them can be administered using the Oracle Enterprise Manager web-based console or using convenient command line interfaces. Pluggable databases, available as part of the Oracle multi-tenant option, are another major advancement in Oracle Database 12C. With pluggable databases, you can unplug an entire Oracle database, move it, and plug it back into a new container environment. Both TDE and Data Redaction fully support pluggable databases. They help protect pluggable databases while in transit, and they immediately resume enforcement when the database is plugged back in. In closing, Oracle Technology Network and Oracle.com publish a lot of useful information about Oracle Advanced Security. There are a couple of links that you can browse to shown on this slide. Here you can find a product data sheet, an overview white paper, published customer success stories, and much more. The customer success stories are particularly valuable. They describe many existing Oracle Advanced Security customers who use this technology to protect their critical data. That concludes this Oracle Advanced Security product overview. As a next step, please join me for the next recording. Thank you.